So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my what I got for my birthday video. It was actually my birthday a long time ago now. It was like two weeks ago. Um, 29th of January, woo -woo, I turned 20, which for me was a really big, big milestone, big thing. I had a slight meltdown, didn't want to turn 20, sort of. I don't know, I just feel like the difference between sort of 18, 19 and 20, 20 sounds adult, the rest of them just sound like you're a teenager still, so I think it's like that sort of thing, I just couldn't get my head around the fact that I was going to turn into an adult. But yeah, anyway, I've gotten over it now, I've been 20 for a while, I've had to fill out a few forms and put my age as 20, had to tick that next box up on the age scales, you know, but we are, we are coping, life goes on. Um, and I've just realised that a lot of these things actually aren't here. But we're gonna go with it anyway. I've got everything I got for my birthday. Um, quite a lot of the things I got was like vouchers and stuff because I didn't really know what I wanted, um, which I have now spent. Hence why it's taking me so long to do because I wanted to like buy something with the vouchers so that I could actually show you because quite a lot of the things I had sort of things in mind with the vouchers that I'd asked for. But anyway, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna sort of probably do it in the order of things I actually got. And I can't quite remember who got me everything because it's been a while now. But first thing I got was this scarf from Jules. I think it's Lambs lamb's wool um it's really big actually it's quite thick like in terms of width and it's quite just like a thick material it's just got little yellow bits on the end and so it's like gray one side and then it's inverted in the other it's a really nice scarf i actually find the easiest way to wear it is like this like looping it through um i just find that the size of it's a little bit awkward to do like the loop the loop around your neck um but it's really warm tiny bit itchy at first but i feel like i've gotten used to it now um and i just really love it and i think no, I can't remember who got me this. <laughs> Either my nanny Pat or my mum and dad, I would say. Also from Jules, I really love Jules. Just some of their stuff, like their outerwear stuff, their coats, their wellies, and their comfy stuff is really nice. Um, I got a, what is this thing called? What are you? You are a, Bar no, it's not a bathrobe. What is it called? Dressing gown. It's a dressing gown. And it's just stripey like this. It's got little pockets. Um, it's really cute. It's got sort of like pink detailing. It's got a hood. Um, yeah, it's just like this. And it's quite long. I wanted one that was snuggly. And my other one was like really like pink and garish. And I just wanted something a little bit more mature. And this one has a hood and it's a little bit longer. Um, so it just sort of covers me up a bit more. And it's really cozy and really soft. And I've been very much enjoying it. And also to go with that, and that was from my nanny Pat. Um, more from Jules. I got some new slippers. I would wanted some new slippers because I had a pair from Fat Face um, and I lost them. We have now found them, but I lost them and I wanted a pair to have at uni because I live in slippers at uni all the time. You know, you go into the kitchen, um, you never know what's on the floor, so you just basically need something to protect your feet. So I had a really cheap pair from Asda, which were good because they had like a proper, like, sole to them. These haven't got a proper sole, which is the only thing I don't really like because um, they get, you know, stuff on them. Um, but they are so nice, they're like uh, suede with like a shirling, shearling shirling, I don't know, inner, and they're so nice. And these were on sale actually, I think they were supposed to be like £50, um, and they were down to like 30 but obviously they were on sale a while ago now, so I'm not, I'm not sure they'll still be available, but if you're looking for slippers, I highly recommend these. I thought they were a little bit ugly when I saw them, I wasn't sure about them, they kind of remind me of the Uggs ones. But I think it's just the way that at the back they just sort of like go down into nothing. It's a bit weird, but they're very comfy anyway. Um, present that I bought myself for some of my birthday money is a new water bottle. I have the Brita filter one. I've had two of those and they're really good, but I don't always need filtered water. And um, you do go fill the fil through the filters fairly quickly. Um, and they're quite expensive, so I just wanted a standard sort of big water bottle. And I also wanted one with a straw. And this one that just makes me really happy because you press this button and it like pops out the little sucker thing. And I can clip it onto my bag and stuff and... Um, I wanted a big one, this is like a 700 mil. I think it's, it's 24 fluid ounces, so it's like 700 mils-ish. Um, and I got this from Tesco's, it's from the brand Contigo, which one of my flatmates told me is like a Spanish or something for something else, I can't remember. She was like, oh, that's a Spanish or Portuguese word or something, and I was like, oh, didn't even know. So yeah, I think this was 10 pounds, possibly 12, not quite sure. Another probably boring present for everyone else, it's kind of boring but I really needed one, is a weather writer. Um, if you don't know what this is, I if you do a degree where it involves field work in the outdoors, this is a really good thing to have. Um, it's basically a clipboard, but it's got a little rain cover on it. So when it's raining, when I'm on my field trips at uni, I can be like literally writing on my clipboard and it's all under cover so that I don't get wet and I just sort of hold it up and it's clear so I can still see through. 
and I can like see what I'm writing without everything getting wet and destroyed. Um, it's not actually a weather writer one, it's a paper dry one, so I will see how that holds up. Um, but yeah, I need one of these, just the A4 black one. I don't know if there's different types. Another thing before I forget, I don't know if you can quite see it, um, is this blanket that Matt got me. Um, it's basically a super chunky knit yellow, I don't want to like pull it off because it's got stuff on it. Um, it's a super chunky knit yellow blanket and it's kind of like yellow, I think it's more yellow than mustard, but it's really cute and it's just sat on the annoy bed right now and it's really warm and it's just a nice little blanket. He said that apparently if you put like a sheet on top of it, it's supposed to like really be really, really good at trapping the heat, so I need to try that out, but I don't have a sheet at the moment. So for now it's just decorative and it keeps my feet warm when I'm in bed. One thing my sister got me that I really wanted, and I've been wanting to do this video just so that I can use this, is a banana case or a banana guard. Um, so often I throw a banana in my bag to go to a lecture and when I get there it's all bruised and battered and split, so I really wanted one of these, and also when I go on field trips, then I can take bananas in my bag and not worry about them getting squashed, so yeah. This one's just from Kitchen Craft, I'm not sure, I think it's probably off Amazon or something. So a present that my parents got me that isn't actually in the box is um, some vans, I needed some new black van slip-ons, black slip-on vans, um, I don't know if you can see there. It's like that style but just the classic black ones um, because I managed to put my toes through my other ones like literally my toe through the top of the shoe on both of them and I had holes in them and so I messaged them like please can you get me some more vans for my birthday because they're quite expensive um, but I just like live in them if you're like running late for a lecture you just like slip them on and you're good to go another present from my parents is the Versace these Versace perfumes um, I've had a little sniff of them all they're like just cute little miniatures and I think they'll be really nice to take on holiday I'm going on holiday in the summer, on like a nice big family holiday, and I'm, basically I'm going to need to wear perfume, it's quite like a fancy resort we're going to, so um, I actually need to wear perfume, I'm really bad at remembering to wear perfume, but hopefully having some nice ones, sorry this is like bad reflection, um, hopefully having some nice ones will make me want to wear it, and yes, yeah, so it's the Versace Crystal Noir Spring Crystal, and then it is the... I think it's the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette of the Era. Oh, I don't even know. I don't, I'm not even going to read them, but I think my mum got this from Boots. Same sort of style um, is this little Ted Baker gift set that Matt's parents got me. It's like this. It comes with a little body wash and a body lotion and a little body spray. And isn't this packaging like the cutest thing in the world? Look at the little bow on top. It's so pretty. And they also got me some ASOS vouchers, which I'll show you what I bought with those in a second. But yeah cute little packaging and I can't wait to take this out. I kind of wanted to just take it out and show you the things and I was like no because this packaging is so cute. I cannot cannot possibly do that. So with the vouchers the first thing I bought I've contemplated buying this for probably well over a year now um, but I wanted the different colour at first. I'll just show you what it is before I stop talking too much. It's this little um, Fiorelli, Fiorelli rucksack. Um, it's, it's the Anouk a nuke one. Um, I wanted it in the baby pink but in the larger size at first and I very nearly bought it. In fact I did buy it and I sent it back because I couldn't justify the price. I think it was something like £70. This is a smaller one. Um, I can't remember the price of this. I had basically a few different types of vouchers and, and I had a 20% off ASOS voucher for my birthday um, from ASOS. So I thought if I'm gonna buy it I might as well buy it with money that I didn't have to earn and with a 20% off voucher and so yeah also the only thing another thing that's different about this one it's like a textured leather on the front and it's smooth leather around the top and the sides um which at first I was like oh I'm not sure if I like that because the other ones were like all smooth leather and the reason I hadn't bought this since I saw that baby pink one is because I hadn't found another colour and style that I liked um I just thought that they were all a bit garish sometimes they are but I really like this one and I kind of regretted it it's like the bag that I always wanted um I never got but yeah it's a little rucksack I haven't taken the packaging off because I don't think I'd decided to keep it until this moment um <laughs> but I think I'm gonna have to keep it because I really love it it's still stuffed with packaging and whatnot the one thing I do want to check is can I get my camera in it because if I take this on holiday I'm gonna want to be able to put my um DSLR in it so I need to just check that but I think it will fit and the other sorry I should have done this first the other thing I bought with the vouchers is these shoes from Cool It Spring I've never heard of Cool It Spring before um but they are, they were on sale, and I just thought they were really cute. Really cute. Um, they're just, oh, I should have left a little mould in. They're just like this. They're not too high. I wanted some shoes that were sensible, because like I said, the resort we're staying in in the summer is kind of fancy. I need to be like dressed up every night for dinner. Um, so I wanted some shoes that were neutral, grey, and um, 
weren't too high, I could walk in them easily, but still look like I'd sort of made an effort, you know? These bits here are actually really comfortable. I was worried they'd be tight, but they're completely elasticated, so they're really stretchy. And I don't know how tall the heel is, but like, it's easy to walk in. They've got like some nice padding there and cushioning. One of them's actually slightly damaged. I need to um, email ASOS and ask them, well, ask them if they can knock any more money off, because I still want the shoes. Um, but yeah, I just think they're really cute and they are um, I don't know what I was going to say. They're sensible shoes. Now, 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 what else should we do? Uh, um, I got two recipe books for my birthday. Oh, one of them's from my grandparents and one of them is from my parents. Um, this one I, uh, I asked both of them, see. This one I actually saw around Christmas time. It's the Nosh gluten-free cookbook. I have the Nosh student one and it is very good. Everything's very simple, very easy, minimal effort. And um, I saw this with my sister and I was just like, oh, there's some of these recipes, because sometimes gluten-free stuff is really complicated to cook. You need all of these random ingredients to sort of make up for the fact that there's no gluten in it. And I just don't have them. I'm on a student budget. I'm not going to go out and buy some random oil and seasoning stuff. I just don't, I can't, I don't have the time. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I don't have the money. But this is all really easy and it tells you for every recipe how much it costs per portion, how many people it will serve, the sort of rating on how easy it is, and then like most recipes it sort of tells you the prep time and it also tells you if you can freeze it, which I think is a really useful thing. Um, it's got loads of different recipes in, obviously all gluten free and they all look really yummy and I really like recipe books where they give you a photo. I think there's a photo for every recipe, yeah there is. I just can't stand it when there's no photos because then I'm like, well do I want to cook it, do I not want to cook it, what's it going to look like? Um, so I would highly recommend this, it's RRP, it says right on the back, RRP899. Um, but I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a easy gluten free recipe book. I'm going to definitely start cooking some things out of here, I've been a bit lazy with my cooking in the last few weeks. <laughs> freezing it out but um yeah anyway and the second cookbook is the Wagamama one I love Wagamamas I really like cooking sort of Asian-y food because it's often quite quick and easy and um I just wanted some recipes to go by whereas I just sort of make up random stir fries and stuff myself but yeah I love Wagamama it's one of my favorite restaurants in the world and although the recipes aren't gluten free in here I kind of know how to adapt them like you just can use different noodles or you can make it with rice and that sort of thing so yeah looking forward to that as well what next Another present from my parents was an electric toothbrush. I really wanted an electric toothbrush. This one's actually really nice. It comes with a little travel case as well. And yeah, it's an electric toothbrush. I feel like my teeth have been very clean since I've been using it and it's nice. And yeah, I would recommend it if you're after one. But I don't really know what else to say. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> from my friends I'm living with next year, I got this little hand hero set it's like a hand cream um little cuticle balm and some nail files which is always useful because i go through that much hand cream and cuticle balm and nail files like i can literally never have enough so looking forward to digging into this because my nail file i need to throw it in the bin it's getting awful and i've got some fresh ones they also got me something else i'm just trying to find it this this is a fizzy bath cubes thing and i'm well i love a good bath I love a good bath what do we call this it's not a bath bomb bath fizziness um, so yeah, looking forward to using these. And they smell really nice as well. Ooh. From my auntie and her family, I got a little toolkit. Um, I realised the other day I was going to buy something in Ikea and I was like, well I can't because I can't even build it. I have no, no tools, nothing at all, not even a screwdriver. So I found this toolkit and they had it in pink as well for the same price. So I was like, well obviously I need it in pink. Um, I can't quite figure out how one of these bits fits in, but I'll show you it. It's got hammer, pliers. Um, with the other stuff, Allen keys. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's got some scissors in there. Everything I could need, and it's got one of those. Um, I don't know if it's a screwdriver or what it's called, but yeah, it's got all of those things, and it's pink, so I will know it's mine, and no one can steal it, basically. And now I can go to IKEA and spend all of my money. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just go through some little bits now because I've got a couple of little bits. Um, for my parents, I've got another Satsuma Body Shop shower gel because I love this stuff. I go through it very quickly because it, I find that actually, the only thing I'm kind of not sure I like or not is it doesn't lather that much. You have to use quite a lot to get it to like bubble and I really like a nice bubbly shower, but it smells amazing and it just always feels super fresh and clean when I've used it. Obviously, had to get some mini eggs. Another present from my sister is actually one of the only sort of makeup y beauty related things I got. Um, is this Zoeva uh, 110 face shape brush. I wanted this for blending out concealer under my eyes and she got me the rose gold one, which I was like, yes. 
because um, I didn't know if there was a difference really in what the brushes were, but apparently there is. Um, well, there isn't a difference, but there's only a difference in colour, they're the same brush. So it just looks like this, it's a nice little domed brush. I think it would just be a good sort of size, pardon me. I think it would just be a good sort of size to just blend out under there, maybe do a little bit of contouring with. Um, that's probably why it's called a face shape, but it's really pretty and I've never had a Zoe brush before, so I'm looking forward to trying this out because I've heard lots of good things. I'm very impressed with how quick I've managed to do this video. From my cousin Laura, I got a couple of CND shellac gel nail varnishes. I'd asked for like loads of different colours because I'm always needing them. They're quite expensive to buy and you know they're just nice to get. Um, so she got me these two. This one is a nice blue, it's called Azure Wish Colour. And I got this, not gonna lie, I got it because it's the same colour as my car. Um, and I just thought, you know, I like that colour, so why not have my nails to match? And also this one, which I've actually used, hence why it's not in the box, and this is called Clay Canyon. And it's actually sort of more of like a nice neutrally pink colour than it is, less brown than it is on the bottle. But um, I really like this shellac gel nail varnishes. I used to use the OPI ones and the shellac CND. It's just so much better, so much better curing. I think the OPI ones work better with the OPI lamps, and I don't have an OPI lamp, I just have a random lamp off Amazon. Um, why is my TV doing that? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're so much better, they're much more opaque, and don't be put off by the fact that it says LED, um, they do use, they do work with UV. Okay, from my sister, another present, I'm pretty sure this was from my sister. I think it was anyway, otherwise she must have had an input somewhere. It's the Clarins um, Instant Light Lip, uh, Lip Comfort Oil in shade number five. It's like this, it's orangey. I love these, these feel absolutely insane. Like They feel amazing on your lips. It's so, so weird. My mum had a little sample and I was like, just tried it on and I was like, wow. And that was at Christmas, so I was like, I need one of these in my life. And I think it'd be really nice in the summer. It just feels so comfortable on your lips, so moisturizing. And you can't, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I think it's because I haven't got it on right now, but they're amazing. If you pass a Clarence counter, I would definitely try and I don't know if you can just try it on, I'm not sure, but I would definitely ask about it. Maybe like put some on the back of your hand and you can sort of feel. Um, they're very strange. They're not an oil, they're not a gloss. Very weird, but very nice. And I also really like the applicator. It's like really fat. And I just think it's quite cool. The colour doesn't come across that much either. You don't look like you've got orange lips. It's just sort of like a slight orangey tint. With some of my... I got some Boots vouchers from a couple of people. So with those, I bought two of these sleek matte me lipsticks one of them i didn't realize i already owned i do this all the time it's the shade velvet slipper it's this nice sort of dark shade it comes up a bit darker than it looks when you actually use it and this shade is french fancy which looks a bit ridiculous on me at the moment but i feel like in the summer when i got a bit of a tan maybe maybe it might look nice so yeah i got those so i think they were buy one get one half price and then when i was by the tills I decided I'd finally give in to the mini real techniques. I've wanted one of these for ages and every time I see them I'm like, no, they're so expensive. It's like 5 99 or something for a mini brush. It's full sized head, but I was just like, no, you don't need it. And then I thought, well, I've got vouchers. I'm not really buying it. It's my birthday present. So I decided to buy one and the woman on the counter was like, oh my God, I love them. Don't you just love them? I was like, yes, I love this. This is why I bought it. And I don't actually think I own, yeah, I don't actually own this brush as well, which is why I feel like it was okay. But it's just so cute look at it so cute um i think this is gonna be amazing for traveling amazing for just throwing in my makeup bag for like an overnight when i go and stay at mats and stuff and yes yeah, the mul mini multitask brush i just hit myself in the face oh yes something i can't really like show because it hasn't arrived yet is the lily pebbles um the f word book um i've got it pre-ordered my mum and dad got me that and i'm really excited for that because i really love her like videos i like sort of way she I don't know how to do it. I just like her style with how she sort of talks about things. And I think it'd be a really interesting book to read. Next up, one of my last things before I have, I have a few more things that I bought with some vouchers that I'll go through quickly. Um, this was my one of my other presents from Matt. Um, and it's, he said, you're not gonna know what it is, but I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh my God, I wanted one of these, but I didn't know, like basically I didn't know where to get it from. And this, along with this blanket was supposed to be my Christmas present, but they arrived too late. So they ended up being birthday presents instead. And it is a, where's the bottom? It's a moon lamp. I don't know if any of you have seen them on Facebook. I think you tap it. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's dark. I'm not sure, I think it might need charging, but it's a moon lamp, so it looks like that, and basically, if it's in the dark, I can't really see. It's like textured, and it looks like the moon, and it just kind of looks like the moon sitting there glowing. 
and yeah they're amazing he saw it on facebook and i saw it on facebook and i was like wow i need one of those but i thought you could only get it in america because that's the only place i'd seen it but apparently you can get it shipped from america which is very exciting so he got me one of those and i'm very very excited to put it i don't know where to put it though i don't really have anywhere in my room i think i might put it on my shelf okay i think i've jinxed it with saying i was going quick because now i'm going slow again so i made a little order off of hollister and it literally arrived yesterday so i haven't tried any of this on yet um i wanted basically matt didn't know what else to get me other than those two things um so he gave me well we just he said i've got this much money that i would normally spend on you left so what do you want and we went a little hollister order so i've got these really cute little pajamas these are the bottoms they actually feel so nice i've just taken them out of the packet I've got a little lace bit there um i wanted some just nice pajamas because it's not the sort of thing i would normally just buy i just buy like primark ones um so yeah i thought i'd treat myself to some nice pajamas from hollister i have another pair and they are like the comfiest things in the world so yeah, and that's the little shirt. I really hope that they fit. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that they sell it in my local store. But um, if you buy online, you get student discounts. So I order them online. And I have a shop fairly near so I can go and exchange them if they're the wrong size. So I got those two. And then I ordered a t-shirt as well. Which looks like this. I think it's meant to be like sort of tight. It's got these cute little embroidery on it. Pretty little sleeves and bottom and i just think that'd be really nice in the summer just a nice t-shirt and i quite like the color combo it's like nice nice colors and everything so yeah oh there is another t-shirt <laughs> one more t-shirt won't blame anyone that's already signed off of this like this is a long video uh yeah just a little cold shoulder stripy tee because i really like those and just hollister t-shirts and stuff so soft they're so nice i know a lot of people are against the hollister but I personally quite like them. So I'm really hoping that's everything. Um, definitely forgotten something somewhere, but I can't see it right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, happy birthday if anyone else's birthdays have been or are soon. And I will see you next time. I'm filming another video today. I'm filming really exciting first impressions. So you can have two videos of me looking like this. But now I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.